Well, hey guys, we're a little bit down the road, not too far, and it's already lunchtime, so we're gonna stop for lunch. And went down this road here, we're supposed to be by some kind of lake. Uh, I'll show you this here. But we couldn't find any access to the water, if there is any. I looked, tried to look down there, I didn't see any, any water. And most of the, the little roads that look like they head that way, there are so many trees down that uh, we just decided to, we're gonna stop for lunch here by the side of the road. <laughs> I know a lot of these videos, they seem like, well, all you do is stop and eat, Lauren. Well, you know, fuel is necessary uh, for the vehicle and, and for myself. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm trying to make our way uh, kind of northeastward here through Oregon, and uh, we've seen a few trees on the road. We've had, to, I think I've cleared more trees on this trip than I have in all my other trees combined, or all my other trips combined. Anyway, we're gonna bust the saw out and clear this one too. Tres. Hey guys, well here we are once again at Hole in the Ground in Oregon. Uh, if you guys remember from uh, about a year and a half ago, I did a series of videos from here. And anyway, it was pretty cool. Really enjoyed it here. So we're here again. I'm just getting ready to cook dinner. Once again, macaroni and cheese, except this time it's on the trail. You're hungry. Well guys, it's the end of another great day. We made a pretty good run up from uh, Wainema National Forest there north of Klamath Falls, and we're up here at Hole in the Ground. This has been a fantastic day as far as uh, scenery and traveling goes. Uh, the only bad news was the fact that uh, our third party from Northern California, that guy, uh, he's had trouble with his trailer, his brand new off-road trailer. Uh, some wheel issues, some bearings in the, the lug nuts, and I guess there's spacers 
uh, under that particular model and everything was loose so we had tightened things up on the trail as best we could but he made it to a four-wheel drive shop there in Klamath Falls and they were able to to get him sorted out so uh, sort of a confidence thing right now he's gonna go back home get things sorted out with the trailer get it kind of finalized maybe do a little testing and then maybe he can join us on another trip uh, at another time so that's the only thing that's really disappointing about the whole thing is uh, we were looking forward to having uh, a little convoy be bopping around here in central Oregon so my unnamed friend from Idaho and I we're just going to continue to press on and just the two of us and look around. So it was pretty nice coming up through the back roads here to Hole in the Ground. A fabulous sunset here tonight. I guess, unfortunately, it's kind of enhanced by some of the forest fires. That's where you get some of the beautiful reds and, and uh, get some of those deep reds is because of the smoke from the forest fires. But it made for a beautiful sunset tonight. Uh, we had a pretty good dinner. The mac and cheese that we've done before uh, it turned out pretty good. <laughs> Unfortunately, on this traveling here, I don't carry in big enough pots. So I didn't make quite as much pasta to go into the sauce as I usually do. So it came out uh, a little rich. Not enough pasta and too much sauce. But, uh, oh, it was, it was good, but it, it uh, just needed a little bit more pasta in there to kind of make it perfect. Yeah, on the way up here, we certainly encountered a lot of trees across the road uh, from the winter. Kind of unusual this time of year. Usually a lot of the roads have been explored and at least traveled through by somebody earlier in the summer. And so we had to cut a lot of trees out of the road ourselves, which is just unusual for August and in my experience uh, that's okay I don't mind it comes in really handy having that little saw on board so anyway guys I don't have much more to report at the moment uh, I could probably keep talking and keep babbling about nothing but uh, you know I want to make these videos at least semi interesting I don't want to ramble on too much but it might be too late but anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I really appreciate you guys watching and hopefully uh, we'll be getting some more footage for you and you'll be able to enjoy the rest of this trip that we're taking. So until then, I'll see you guys out here on the back roads. Mm -hmm.